Time to play with some play. Well, good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Last night I came down, I decided to make some uh, silicone uh, sculpting tools, um, different uh, shapes and sizes, and uh, let me show you what I did. I made these tools uh, by uh, using existing sculpting tools in some cases, like these three, four here. Um, yeah, actually, this, these five. This is a uh, Ken's tools, and it's a uh, wire tool that uh, I never used because um, it was the wrong kind of uh, shape for me. And so I used the wire as support for the uh, silicone, which is silly gum, I think it's called. I can't remember. I'll put the, the name of the uh, silicone uh, that I'm using. It's, uh, it's, it's, you can do a search on uh, Amazon. You can buy it from there if you want. Um, and this one I made with a, a piece of wire uh, stuck into the end of this uh, wooden dowel. Let me show you. I've had these uh, AB mixtures for this silly gum or whatever it's called. And uh, I've had it for a couple of years now. The uh, lid broke on this one and then it broke on this one yesterday. So it's a uh, Get some cellophane and just wrap it. It'll keep it nice and fresh. I took a tool like this one here, for instance, that I'm never going to use. And uh, I've decided to uh, put a little putty on it. So you take uh, equal parts, and I'm not equal, so now I am, and uh, put the lid back on, and then you just uh, squeeze it and knead it until it uh, becomes a single color, which is blue, and it only takes a few minutes for this to, this to harden up. Um, it does best in a 70 degree temp, I think. That's what it said in the instructions. Um, anyway, I'm going to take half. And I'm going to put it on this uh, tool using the uh, metal as a uh, support for the uh, putty. I'm just doing this to show you how you can take a tool. I I took wire tools because, quite honestly, I think they work better than the, this uh, metal one. And you dip your fingers in water, and you can move, smooth out the uh, putty. Be careful not to let the uh, wire pop through the. Uh, putty like I just did with the uh, tip of the uh, tool it doesn't have to be perfect just smooth it doesn't do any good if it's all lumpy and that's all it takes to do that so um, it's it's some good stuff I, lo I love this stuff and uh, these tools These tools I made really turned out great. And I got one that's going to be a nice little detail end one. And, and the nice thing about this is the clay does not stick to the, uh, the, the, the silicone. All right, let's get to work on the clay. I went to my storage unit and got uh, 
100 watt bulbs and it works a lot better than the uh, 70 watt bulb that I got yesterday at the uh, hardware store. <laughs> I couldn't get the clay soft enough to work with. I've got a whole two sets of uh, storage boxes with 100 watt bulbs, so I won't be running out anytime soon. I hate covering up the design that I made on this uh, shield for the uh, Viking. But uh, Viking fell apart and uh, it had no future. It just uh, was something I wanted to do. A while back. Yeah, I'm going to start building up the neck. I'm not going to do every little muscle in underneath the uh, skin, but I am going to at least uh, build up the uh, area that the muscles would have been. Put his windpipe in. Can't breathe without a windpipe. It's windy today because, uh, and it's a south wind. That's why you can hear it so well. And because uh, the temperature's gone from 20 degrees up to almost 55 degrees. So it's Montana. We expect that. Heck, we expect snow in June. <laughs> the nice thing about these true form armatures is you can take the arm off. And that's what I've done so I can get the inside of the uh, arm. Which uh, saves a lot of headache when you're trying to uh, do that part while the arm is on. And I can also put the... Uh, muscle here underneath the arm. I got the chest muscles on. They're a little bit big right now. I'm going to reduce them down just a little bit in size. Perfect. No, <laughs> it's close to perfect. Not quite.
I might check my uh, head measurements. Oh, right on the button. I am good. <laughs> Somewhat. All right, I'm going to call it quits for tonight, and uh, I'll come back tomorrow and work on it some more. I'm going to take the head off of uh, the figure tomorrow and uh, work on it. I've tried to not make him muscular, but uh, make him muscular as I fine line between a bodybuilder and a normal human being and uh, he'd have been a warrior who would have trained with bows with horses with uh, war clubs all kinds of stuff he'd have trained and uh, so he would have had some muscle build up, but uh, he wouldn't be uh, a bodybuilder on stage. And I've tried to show this uh, as just a normal human being who was a warrior. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm happy with what's coming out here. This is probably the best figure I've ever made. And it looks really good. It looks symmetrical. So that's a good thing. But like I said, I'm going to work on his head tomorrow because I'm not happy with it. I'll fine tune all these things, but uh, he doesn't look like a He-Man, he just looks like a, a warrior. All right, good night till tomorrow, and uh, have a pleasant night. Stay healthy, everybody, and I hope I'm entertaining you while you're stuck in your house. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.